Wow! So see how it is running. So it finds the traces the line and it goes accordingly. Let's go along with the line. Hello friends. Today I'm going to unbox pathfinding robot. This I have ordered through Amazon and just today I got it delivered. So having a good packing. Let us see how it is inside. Already I've got the oh okay. So it comes in a small box. So the actual MRP is three thousand rupees. But in Amazon, you'll get it just for 600. So it's always better to buy from Amazon. Now let us see what is there inside. We need to assemble everything. Wow. This I bought it for my kid. So he will get attended to the electronics and all the basics. He will understand the basics of electronics. So here we have the motor. Here we have the wheel resistor, switch, everything, battery also is available and we have the complete manual as well. So we will refer this manual and oh yeah the circuit board is also there. So we will just refer this manual, the circuit board how and where to fix everything and we will assemble based on it. Why I thought to buy this is this gives a basic understanding of the electronic components to the kids. This gives like how they will come to know what is a resistor, what is a capacitor, then what is an IC, small IC, what is a switch, what is a diode, then what is a motor, all things they will come to know. Basic understanding they will get. That's why I thought of buying this so that instead of buying a remote control car or a pathfinding kind of car or something, it's always better to give and they will be getting exposure to these electronic items. So this is the multimeter through this which we can check the LED diode whether it is working or not otherwise after the whole thing it will be difficult. So this is P and N positive we are putting here in the P and P. If it is glowing that means this is working fine. Similarly you can put in the N, P and here also bottom also the P the bigger leg you need to put in P. So this is a good LED. Similarly, we can check white as well. Okay, so this is also good. Yeah. So that makes all the LED diodes are good. Now I placed the PMP transistor to transistor and the LED diodes. With the diodes. While, make, while putting the connection, you need to make sure which is positive and negative as well as for the transistor. This is the direction how it is already being mentioned, like where the straight, away, straight side and the rounded part, you need to just place it accordingly. And also, when, while you keep the capacitor, also you need to make sure which is positive and negative. And also, when you keep the uh, IC base, you need to make sure where is the notch, notch, or is the northern side. That is the top and this is the bottom. So you need to pay, place the ICBs accordingly. This switch doesn't have any polarity. So you can just keep the switch and this rheostat also. It's a three pin. So it comes with the three pin, one in the front and two at the back. So accordingly you can just place it with two rheostat. No balance what is what needs to be connected is the resistors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight resistor two photovoltaic photo sensitive resistor and uh, two diodes and the battery pouch.
in the bottom side I have placed the photo resistor, two photo resistor and the two LED and also I have placed the nut. This is used for tracking, tracking the light based on that it will give you the rotation effect. Next we will connect the back to and see whether this is circuit is working or not. So with the double side tape, I am going to paste it here, the battery holder, so make sure it fits properly. Once it is fixed, now you can give the battery connection. The battery connection, we need to give it here at the bottom, this place, post to is being shown. So we need to solder and give that. You're almost done now. Now I have placed the battery holder and gave the battery connection. Bottom we need to solder and give the battery connection. Post you at this end and the negative over here. Already the sign was there, so accordingly you need to solder it. I just put a rubber band. You want to just firmly hold this battery holder. Now the circuit is complete all the components we are given we can just switch on and see whether it is working yeah so yes the lid is working you can see one of the lid is not blinking you can just put your uh, put a hindrance to the photo resistor so that the other LED blinks this is how the sensor works so we are good with the connection now the next what we need to do is we need to give uh, the uh, we need to insert the motor we need to give the connection for the motor and just see whether it works properly or not so now i am going to place the double set tape for placing the motor you need to place the motor in such a way that you see the shaft as well place like this and give the connection similarly for the second motor as well all the soldering everything is being completed now I can give a connect, give a connection for the motor as well two motors so motor connection is coming over here and the second one is here and now just we need to place the motor on the correct position before that let us just check whether it is working properly or not yeah now you can see this motor is running now when we close this resistor the resistor now this is also running so that means both the motors are running properly so our connection is complete now we need to place the motor to its location After placing the motor, we will give the connect the tire. Yeah, this way. So first motor I placed. Just firmly press it. Second motor. Make sure the alignment is proper. Yeah. So second motor also I have placed fix it firmly so it will come out now we can just check it yeah. yes. okay so we have come to a conclusion final part then now just we need to put the screw the wheel now I'm going to connect the wheel so already a small screw is being provided with the kit place it properly and then just screw it so one wheel have connected similarly opposite side we need to place the second wheel place <laughs> Yeah.
So now all our connections have been given. Just, we will just check whether it's not working properly. Just switch on and just see the bottom when you just put give any hindrance. Yeah, it is uh, our connection is perfect. Now let us put into our running track and just see whether it is working properly or not. Wow! So see how it is running. So it finds the traces the line and it goes accordingly. It go along with the line. So here we have successfully assembled the pathfinder. So the pathfinder is running properly. See how it's really amazing, right? It's this is a really good toy for kids. They will understand the basic concepts of electronics and they can just explore the things and they can create their own pathfinder vehicle really amazing one yeah